Hey guys. So today is uh, October 17th. And I was talking with my family doctor over the phone yesterday. And uh, she said she got the results from the uh, heart monitor session that I had there. Uh, I had to put the heart monitor on for three days. And uh, she's referring me to see a cardiologist because she thinks, well, she knows that there's an issue with my heart. Um, she's saying that uh, it's what they call a uh, second degree heart block, but she's not entirely sure what the severity is because she can't read the uh, results the same way a cardiologist would. So uh, she wants to get an opinion from this cardiologist before she uh, before they decide a plan of action. But uh, there's a very real possibility, depending on how severe it is, um, that I may need a a pacemaker put in. think about that. Um, I, I, I'm just kind of speechless right now. I haven't told my parents. Uh, my mom and dad are dealing with a lot of stuff going on their own right now because of my mom's health problems and I don't want them stressing over mine. Um, so I'm just kind of keeping this kind of under the radar. Ta Julie knows. Some of my closer friends know. Um, but I'm not I'm not making it public. So you're gonna f you're gonna probably see this video long after the decision's been made by whatever doctors to do whatever it is has to be done and um, if anything, and then, uh, we go from there, so, anyway, the doctor told me I can still exercise, she says, uh, as long as I feel well to keep doing what I'm doing, she said that, uh, I should definitely avoid monster drinks, at least until I see the cardiologist, and then from there she says she would suggest I talk to the cardiologist about it. And then she said that, uh... I'm trying to think of anything, she said, oh, she said that if uh, I should have another episode where I feel like I'm gonna pass out, I should definitely lay down or sit on the floor so that if I do collapse, uh, I won't fall and hurt myself. And the same thing if I'm driving. I'm a little concerned about that. Uh, I'm very concerned about that because they may decide to pull my license if that's the case. Um, Um, and it was my plan until I find out what the results are and unless I feel like I can't do it uh, my plan is to just keep um, keep exercising keep trying to stay strong um, because again I want to be ready for whatever comes I want to be as fit and as strong as possible for whatever procedure happens. 
but uh, if we really haven't, so. I'm just, uh, I try to I try to keep a very positive attitude about things. And I know I've been through a lot of shit. You just come to a point where you just wonder why me. You know what I mean? And uh, okay, so I I do drink, or I was drinking monster drinks, but I know so many damn people out there that do with no repercussions. I know people who smoke cigarettes, uh, drink alcohol, eat uh, terribly all the time. And they're not dealing with the crap I'm dealing with right now. And it's... I try to lead my life by example. And, uh... I don't know, it's the same damn thing with the bowel disease, you know, like when I got started up with this, I thought I was a pretty healthy guy, I exercised regularly, I ate very well, I ate a lot of fruits and vegetables, a lot of lean meats, and uh, very little junk food, and I, be I became the sick guy. So, uh, you know... It makes you wonder, is it even worth it? Maybe I should have eaten more damn hamburgers. <laughs>